have you ever been in a relationship or uh, where in the beginning the guy or the girl gave you amazing sob stories okay amazing sob stories they were the good person the other person was evil the other person was bad and uh, you know you were like shit this person such a beautiful heart so good you got into a relationship and then you were bad mouthing that person's ex or oh, that person was so messed up fucked up and uh, you don't want to beat up that person or put that person in place okay however after a couple of months or years you realize this very same person who was playing the victim card is actually a piece of shit <laughs> he is actually horrible not the other person well you are not the first one to experience this and you'll not be the last i'll give you examples from my own life where uh, one is where the girls were acting like the victim and another one where the guys were acting like the victim okay we'll give two examples to balance it out now first let's understand why people do this okay people always like to believe that they are good people always like to believe that the other person's bad they are good life is bad to them and they like to play the victim card so as to not only get sympathy but to get uh, to hear wonderful words of compliments you know you deserve the best you're amazing you're uh, you have a good heart see uh, i'll illustrate this with a real example okay let's assume i i'll not uh, name and shame them but this girl her name was let's say uh michelle okay let's call her michelle now michelle i met michelle online uh her facebook profile was her meditating and spiritual stuff uh she is from usa okay and uh, the thing about her was always putting wonderful uh, facebook updates of peace calm love uh, life you know wisdom kind of stuff okay and uh, we automatically hit it pretty good became friends online really a beautiful girl okay and uh, then i found out that she has a she has a child child in the sense like 15 year old boy okay so i was like okay and then you know later on as i got to know her she was divorced and uh, she was you know she was staying alone so as you know i always wondered like such a nice woman such a wonderful beautiful girl alone she's like oh i'm not a slut who will sleep around you know so i was like okay this girl is good so then i actually flew down to meet her okay uh she was not staying in dubai i flew down i'll not tell you where so after i flew down to meet her i stayed with her a really amazing girl seriously amazing very understanding and her son was like a very mature level headed boy and i started to like the son i started to like her later on she revealed her real story where her husband boyfriend was abusive he used to beat her uh, he bought other women to have sex and you know she wanted three sums and four sums and uh, he was into drugs and he was this bad evil guy and i was like fuck man that guy is pretty sick and she showed me photographs to prove that he was a playboy and he was bad and all that so okay so i uh, strongly disliked her ex husband okay and i thought he was a piece of shit and he used to surprisingly he used to come down once every two weeks to meet up with her and her boy okay the boy used to fucking hate him she used to hate him after he would go he was like motherfucker piece of shit this that whatever okay so we continued however after it was only after a couple of months um you know like uh, i i thought of her as very mature very understanding very loving uh, i couldn't understand why uh, you know a man couldn't respect her after a couple of months as i was you know as to visit her frequently a fly down all the way from dubai i noticed some things which were rather disturbing 
and I'll tell you. Number one, and I'll give you just a list. Number one, whenever she would have a bath or a shower, she would walk naked in the house, completely. Her son is there, her son is there. You're talking of a 15 year old boy, he's there in the house and she's walking naked and you know, then she'll put, uh, wipe herself dry and put powder and everything. While her son, you know, it's like, didn't care. It was like, I was like, uh, you know, that's a grown ass boy. You're walking naked. She's like, Loy, uh, I'm his mother. There's nothing sexual about it. He has seen, I've seen him naked. He has seen me naked. It's that pure love. So I was just scratching my head. I was like, uh, okay, must be an American concept. Okay. I excuse that. Later on, uh, one day I found this guy, I was just walking, his room was open and this guy was watching, you could see his monitor was on the wall, so I could see it, he was watching a porno, okay, he was watching a sex tape, uh, sex download or whatever and obviously he was masturbating, so I was like, huh? So when I saw that, obviously the door was open. He's like, what the fuck you motherfucker? And, and then he, you know, obviously slammed the door and I was like, oh boy, okay. That I was not prepared for, okay. Then the third one came whereby, uh, you know, obviously me and her both, you know, in the beginning of the relationship, we were enjoying sex. And uh, she started asking for kinky stuff and all, which, which was okay, normal, I understood that, okay. Uh, so, but uh, then some of her requests were rather like, you know, would you fantasize about threesome, uh, you know, two girls on one guy, two guys on one girl, and I was like, uh, okay, so this girl was complaining about her ex having two sums and three sums, and you know, she's kind of suggesting it to me, okay, so I didn't mind all that, I was also literally, obviously, keeping her happy by buying her expensive gifts here and there but where things got a little fishy was when this uh, things got bad to worse was when this boy started uh, abusing me uh, you know racist abuse everything from a fucking brown this that and and for me I'm a very peaceful guy okay I, I don't believe in violence and especially when you're talking of family so he started abusing me and uh, I was quiet, quiet, quiet. You know, normally I wouldn't take shit. It's only because of her I kept quiet. Until one day I couldn't take it anymore. I'll tell you, this might sound bizarre, but I literally broke down because I, I wanted to beat his fucking face in, man. But because of her, I respected. And then she obviously shouted at him and, okay. So, but this left, that I was disturbed by it. So after I flew back to Dubai, now you're talking of this woman who badmouths her husband, says that he's an evil guy. I found out that she was taking money from the husband, the ex-husband who she badmouths. He pays her every month. He pays for the boy every month. He pays for his education every month. And where she was portraying herself as being an independent woman, she was not actually working. She was living off the money from the ex-husband. So then I started to ask myself, if that guy is bad, then wh why is he paying money? And if she is such a good woman, why is she taking money? So I still kept quiet, but where I kind of lost it, this was the tipping point was, one day she told me that uh, the father wanted his son to spend time with him, okay? So, you know, she used to tell me that he can't stand him, he hates him and all. So the father, in order to, uh, you know, get him to be happy, he said, come stay with me uh, for a week. I'll buy you a brand new computer, which you can use for your studies and play and enjoy. So immediately, this woman agreed. The son agreed, the woman agreed to spend a week staying with this guy so that he can get his free computer, uh, you know, whatever it was, thousand, two thousand dollars worth. Okay, I just asked myself, you have been abusing this guy, saying that he's abusive, he's a drug addict, he's evil, he's sinister, you're, you know, you're a woman of character, 
and that boy also has been saying he's a motherfucker he's a this he's a that but when he gives money you go running to him like a dog so I was like what kind of character is this and then when i addressed this issue uh, she didn't have any remorse she didn't she was like you know both she and her son were giving out to me i uh, you know for me that was the last straw i was like you're portraying yourself as innocent but for money you're ready to do anything and you're bad mouthing the guy who pays you money who gives you money who takes care of you okay i broke off okay everything was done and and i for, forgot about the story later on i bumped into one of her friends super close friends very close friends okay and uh, as we were talking she was just like you know uh, you were dating my friend that time and i said like, yeah i broke off i found out later on this girl her friend was no longer a friend now and she told me that this girl used to go and uh, try to hunt for guys uh, and whenever she would get any guy she would have like mad sex like her previous boyfriend one that she had told me one other guy they were having sex almost everywhere like uh, she even told me that this lady who is a friend uh, she is a massage therapist it seems that she would come bump into her clients and uh, next thing you know the client is with her you know they both are banging each other's brains how she found out is when she went to a house she saw her client there and her there and when she walked into the room there were condoms everywhere as like, uh okay and then she even told me that uh she was telling her that lesbian sex is good we should try it sometimes you know i'll teach you how to do it i was like oh fuck okay so i'm not trying to bad mouth her but i'm giving you the reality okay where on facebook where on social media she portrayed herself as you know this amazing woman of character and substance who never bend over for anyone she, she was actually you know she's a free loader she just wants fucking cash and her child is upbringing so fucked up he thinks no end of himself i mean it's a very demented household okay so this was one example now let me flip over to another side i'll give you an example of a guy okay i told you a girl right now this guy i made friends with him uh we were thinking of starting up a business he portrayed himself as this nice amazing mature person uh well he did enjoy sex which i understood but he used to keep telling me of the fact that he always wanted love he could never find love uh he gave me examples of his ex thai girl he said how thai women uh, cheated him where he took care of this girl bought her a tv sofa uh, a house everything else but she was busy chatting with other men okay hey she was busy chatting with other men and then he got so angry he broke the tv he broke the sofa he made holes in the house and told her to fuck off and okay so i always looked at this man as he's a good man uh you know he only wants love because he's to do work and he's to he wanted a family and he was staying with this other girl this other thai girl in his house so i was like fine this guy is good this guy is a nice man later on after we became friends i found out he is an alcoholic i found out that he used to take drugs i and i also found out that even though he's married and he claims that he loves this girl and all that he used to busy go to whores and prostitutes and not one not two but five six of them at a time because i went with him once out so but on facebook if you look at him he'll always say that uh he'll always put amazing stuff like true love uh family values he'll take photograph of him his wife his child he'll talk good stuff uh and he'll always say that uh you know family values and all that but the real person that he is he is addicted to prostitutes drinking drugs and he lives you know a dual life so i just give one example okay just one example of each boy and girl 
there are so many more but the point i'm trying to make here is you know if anyone gives you a sob story anybody they they say you know i loved him but this is what he did to me he broke my heart he never cared for me they'll give you an amazing sob story wonderful sob story where they are the good guy the other person's a bad guy the other person's pure evil the other saint just please don't fall for it because i remember one of my friends telling me if someone so good why are they single the very fact a person's single means something is wrong with them seriously wrong either they take wrong decisions in life or they make wrong choices in life or there is something seriously wrong that you cannot see or spot and uh, i'll tell you the only way you will come to know the truth is once you start spending time with them eventually the truth will come out so i just want to caution you that if anyone plays a victim card and tells you a sob story please don't fall for it because there is a dark reality somewhere which they don't want to share they don't want to tell you but eventually you'll come to know so the next time you hear someone gives you a sob story just keep away from them because they're trying to sell you on a concept all right this is me signing off for now put down your thoughts love to hear from you take care